Hey y'all, so I'm going to teach you all how to do a 3D acrylic flower and encapsulate it. So I hope you all enjoy. Hey Nail Bay, so I'm back with another tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how I do 3D flowers. I'm going to use this number four 3D brush that I got off of Amazon. I thought it was super cute, um, but it is a Kalinsky brush. I just like the glitter and I thought it was super, super cute. And it is. Um, but I'm going to use that and I'm going to use a little bit of monomer because I don't need much. I'm going to add a little acetone to make sure my beads, you know, come off easily. You know, when I'm, you know, putting them on the brush, it comes off very easy. And um, that's really all I'm going to do. So I hope y'all stay tuned and watch what I do. Okay, so I'm going to be using this acrylic from Mia Secret. It's called 3D White Acrylic. And I'm going to just place a bead right in the middle of the nail. Well, as close to the middle as I can get it. Um, I'm going to put the bead and kind of expand it out into like a half a moon shape. And that is going to be the outer part of, or the biggest part of my 3D flower. And I'm going to add a few petals to this flower so you all just watch carefully as I'm kind of going to pop in and out of this tutorial just to kind of help guide you along. But I'm going to, once I get this bead on there in the half moon shape, I'm, go shape, I'm going to press it, press it, press it. And that is pretty much the gist of how to do a 3D flower. You know, just kind of press it, press it. You don't want the acrylic to be runny. You don't want the acrylic to be too dry. You want it to be where it is moldable, where it's movable. So, you know, you're just going to press it, press it, press it. The more you press, the flatter it will be. It'll make it easier for you if you want to encapsulate the flower. Or if you want it to, you know, just be on the nail, you still want it, even though you have, you're going to put layers on it, you still want it to lay flat. It, it just helps with, you know, snagging and all, the, like, all of that good stuff. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do is just kind of press it out and mold my flower petal the way that I want it. And um, I'm going to pop in and out and you all can, you know, follow along. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just still going around in a circle. You want to kind of place this bead sort of in the middle too. But once again, you're going to kind of push it out. So you're going to create like a barrier on the inside where you can keep making petals. And that's what's going to give it that 3D effect. So you're like I said, create that little half moon shape to create the outside of the petal. And then we're going to continue to add beads and, you know, make it. 3d so just kind of push it push it push it out push it out create that outside uh oh i keep on dropping it. i'm gonna just hold it so you just want to you know push it out and form it you know make it what you want it to be as long as the acrylic is movable you know what i'm saying 
So yeah, just press it, press it, press it out. And then we'll start creating more beads in the middle and you know, you'll be able to watch and see what I do. But making 3D flowers is very self-explanatory. It's really not that much to it outside of, you know what I'm saying. So like right here, we're going to put a bead in the middle and then what we're going to do is create like a little hole to create a hollow area on the inside. And once you get that hollow area, you're going to do the same thing, but this time you're going to press all around. So, you know, like before we just created like a little half moon and pressed this time, you're going to create a hole in the middle and, you know, press all the way around it. And that's, what's going to make the flower look 3d. So it's very simple. Especially once you get past the beginning part of just creating the outer edges of the flower. This part is very simple. Just put the bead in the middle, create that hollow area, and make it wider and wider and wider by pressing. And it's, it's really that simple. I taught myself how to do flowers just from like watching a few videos and, you know, just practice. So I haven't done any on my clients in a, I haven't done any on my clients in a minute. Um, but I'm about to start. That's why I went on ahead and bought my little brush. Cause I'm like, first of all, I could be doing this on my clients too. They could be walking around looking cute, but you know, if you're someone that's out there and you are trying to practice flowers, this is a great one to learn and try. And then, you know, we can work on some other 3d art as well, but you know, so y'all just keep watching and I'll pop in again here and there. y'all got your 3d flower like it is super super cute like that would go with anything that's just something you could put on any cute nail a wedding nail or just a girly girl nail or whatever you want to do spring nail summer nail don't even matter and you can do many colors like i was going to use those pinks over there but i was struggling um just to keep my nail tip on there but yeah y'all that is super cute um I would love to see y'all try these. So if y'all have IGs, find me on IG and tag me so I can see your work, especially if you are a beginner nail tech and you are practicing. So, um, yeah. I'm 
them on in the mouth, yeah, yeah. I don't follow rules and they don't like that Hit the club with wife, he brought a time back yeah. Hit the free twice and ran it right back I'm only here tonight cause in the morning got a flight back Talking it but you ain't living like that The porch cost a hundred, this is twice that Flooded on my diamonds, falling strength back in Oakland, I'm the king, I know my horsey is a thing yeah. Right detail, that's not a speck of dust on it I'ma get the bag, you can put some trust on it Everything is new, so it's never rust on it And the booty so big, bust on it These brand new don't step on my balloons I'ma hit that if she needs it, they don't like how I talk with that that's it y'all all you gotta do is just add a top coat on top of this and boom this is a great option for people who you know like i said don't want to necessarily snag the um the 3d art you can always encapsulate it and it's just as cute so i'm probably gonna do another video on how to do like 3d petals and hearts and all kind of stuff because you can do so many things 3d so you all just let me know in the comments but these came out so cute I don't know which one I like more because I really like both of them. I like the one with the 3D effect completely and I also like the 3D, you know, encapsulated. So let me know in the comments what is your favorite and, um, you know, I'll be back with another tutorial very, very soon. Hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all the next time.